Hi Queens, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we just did like a sit down video. I'm about to pack. It's been a lot of travel, but I figured I'd share like all of my fall favorites new in. We're gonna start with bags. First two bags, I think you saw me buy this first one in the fashion week vlog, but this is from the Weve. And I've been looking at this bag. Um, it's kind of their take on like the East West bag. Um, that's really trending and I've been looking at this one for a while because I love the idea of being able to fit a lot of stuff which this does but it still feels small like I can fit my camera my phone you know a little makeup bag um key like I can fit everything I need now, this is kind of like the trending color for fall one of the trending colors it's kind of like butter yellow hopefully you can see it accurately but it's like a really soft pastel yellow and I think this pair is really nice with grays which I'm also really into and then I bought this little charm separately um it's just like a little keychain but it was on the display child and they got me but I love this so I want to share that and then along the same vein another east west kind of bag is this bag from Gucci the horse fit bag I think that's what it's called but this is a vintage bag that has been reissued recently I shared this in the Milan vlog because the uses um the stay how bought the beautiful red one that's the new version um, it's leather and it's a lot more poofy and it's literally stunning um but for me I need to pay the current price point um which i think is around 3500 well it was 35 i think in milan so maybe a little more in the u.s um i found this on fashion file <laughs> and i want to say i got it for like a thousand so I feel like it's a little different than anything I have. Moving along. Next bag is an acne bag. And this is kind of like a big travel tote. I wanted something, I wanted another option outside of my YSL tote, which you know is my go-to travel bag, but it's a lot of gold. And sometimes I want to wear the shoes that I'm going to show you later. Are my new travel shoes, they have silver. So it's like, I just need something that has no hardware on it. <laughs> I just got, I was like, this will work. Two bags left. These bags are, super cute and this is what i always talk about what i use dupes for because these are similar dupes in the same vein of designer bags that i've been looking at but i'm just not sure so this one these are both from urban revival and part of this video is a partnership with urban revival which you guys love um and we talked about this in the, we talked about this in the last urban revival video how they're so great to work with and you know i they they let me pick as much as i want to make sure i find the perfect things that i absolutely love down below but janae will save you 15 percent off and i don't think it ends or expires so yay um but this is the first bag this is a denim bag this is similar to a Versace bag that I have been looking at but for me I just don't know if Versace is just not a handbag company um you know for the price but I really have been liking her so it comes in this denim I thought this dark denim was really cute for fall and then it kind of has this like western kind of hardware we're gonna test this out see how we feel about like the shape the hardware all that stuff it's also another bag I've been looking at um it's a Givenchy bag that's the even closer of a shape. And I have been looking at that bag for a while because it has this little V. And I looked at it at Saks, I think, the last time I was in New York. And I love, it comes with a chain and I really like it. But again, I don't think I've ever had any Givenchy bags. So I'm just, we're gonna test her out and see. So those are both from Urban Revival and they'll be linked below. Um, let's do accessories and I think you, you you saw this event but I never actually talked about the pieces so Dylan Lex I'll put the uh, name on the screen but is a brand I followed for a very long time you probably will recognize her jewelry from the formation video I believe Beyonce wore it was like all the silver chunky beautiful chains and necklaces all layered when she had on the hat the wide brim hat that's Dylan Lex and I've always loved her jewelry um but it's very expensive. Like I follow her on Instagram and there's been so many times where she'll post something and I'm like, I'm buying this, this is the piece. And I'll go to her website and it's just so overwhelming because there's so many options. They layer so much that I was just never sure like, am I gonna get that look? Or am I gonna get all the pieces that I need to make that look? Um, and they're pricey. Um, this is, cost, I was I wanna say fine costume jewelry. Um, and they're, they're very pricey. But she finally opened a store. Um, in New York and she had an event um, well a friend of mine had an event with her 
Um, so I was able to go and just see, feel, touch. Like literally I was trying on stuff for probably two hours straight until I finally settled on something. Um, so I'll pop up a picture, but I basically got, which is gorgeous. Obviously you can wear it on its own. You can wear all this on its own, but also together. And then I got this gorgeous medallion. I got this little chain to just, it needed something in the middle. So that's the only accessories and then two pairs of sunglasses. I've been on a, I've been really chilling on the sunglasses because I think we all know I have plenty. Um, but I didn't have as many, kind of like in between, like not super bold fashion week kind of sunglasses, but also not like, you know, just my simple black, you know, oversized sunglasses. I wanted something in between. So I found these and I wanted something with gray. So I found these on Shopbop. And I've been wearing them a lot lately. These are by Saint Laurent. They're just a simple aviator, but I like that they're like a thicker, usually aviators are like wireframe. So I like that these were, this acetate I believe is what it's called. Um, and I've been wearing these a lot because again, they feel interesting, but not like too bold. Sometimes I just wanna be a little low key. So I recently just got them in brown because obviously a lot of my favorite glasses are brown or neutrals. Um, but I just really like this shape for something a little simple. So um, I got both of these on shop I'm pretty sure. But everything will be linked below. Uh, so we have four pairs of shoes and two are from Gucci. Um, I'm, I know there have been a lot of controversy, a lot of controversy around the new creative director at Gucci and the newest runway show. And it's just, it's not Alessandro McKelly. It's not that like, retro you know super colorful bold with like you know lots of stuff going on kind of gucci anymore i personally i feel like it's just enough i feel like it's still has a little sparkle a little razzle dazzle but it also has like clean lines and it's like a little minimal but it's still has those pops of boldness i like so many things that came down the wrong way so I literally feel like the last few times I've been shopping, I used to never really go in Gucci. Like I have a few things, I have a Gucci cardigan um, and like my Gucci Prince down low first, which I've also been bringing back out. But I don't have a ton. I, I always felt like it was just too much when I went in the store, like, but now I'm into her. And that's what creative directors do. They ch can change, they reposition the brand. They can either continue on with the, you know, current, aesthetic or they can bring in their you know own aesthetic and totally change the perception of the brand and for me um i think it's sorno sabato is a new creative director that's what he's done that's a tangent but my point is i'm really into gucci <laughs> so you saw these in during fashion week speaking of like too much and a lot these are that but they're perfect for those minimal outfits this is their new kind of like little heel it has this fur detail but wearing them with something simple, you know, that's what I love. I love just not having to think that much, but having a little bit of a statement. I wore these with like a midi skirt and just like a simple tank and then these shoes. And it's like, what an outfit. I mean, really it's just tank top and a skirt. <laughs> this makes such an impact. Same thing with like some crop jeans and you know, a sweater and then these. And it's like, oh, like so stylish. These also come in white. For me, the white was just too much of a contrast. Again, it's like, it's a fine line for me. I like statement pieces, but I like them to be easy and wearable. And I, I knew for me, the black on black, I wouldn't have to think that hard about. Love these and they're comfortable. I mean, I can't, they're comfortable. Um, and then I also wanted a kind of winter airport shoe option. You know, I love my airport outfits. And for winter, typically I wear boots, which can just get, especially if you have long haul flights, can just get to be a bit much. Like I usually will wear my Prada boots, but they get kind of heavy if you're like going through a really big airport where you gotta, you know, get on a train and uh, do all the things. So my essay at Bergdorf, she posted these and I was like, I need those. And she was like, they're super comfortable. Send them to me. And that's what I needed the simple black bag for because these with the YSL bag was just like, mm-mm. And then last pair of shoes are from Urban Revival. And this, you're welcome in advance because this is an amazing, fantastic dupe of my favorite boots, my favorite fall ankle boots from the Attico that I wore the hell out of last fall, winter. And when I saw these on the Urban Revival site, 
I was like, I'm really coming through. I am really, look, look at that. Look, let me, let me take all the stuff out so you can see. There's going to be try on. So you should be seeing this up on the screen. But I was like, these, just the, the point sticking out with some jeans, but then even a maxi skirt and you seeing the, being able to see the heel. These look just like the Attico boots. Now the heel is different, but I love, look at that structural. And then the toe is like pointed, but then it has this kind of like extra edge. These are so cute, I haven't worn them yet, but such a good option. Comfort, but gives you a little bit of height, but also gives you a little bit of that like architectural moment with the heel. Be more comfortable than the Attico ones because they're a little higher, so. If you still need an ankle boot, something that you can just like wear easily, especially if you are shorter and you want to wear like, all my pants are long. So this is a good option. Last pair of boots. I need it. I know it feels like I have a lot of shoes, but I was missing a more simple knee high black boot. All of my boots are just, they, they're a lot. So it's like when I needed something where like the outfit is doing a lot and I just need like a clean, simple boot i didn't have one in black all i had was i have a suede version and i was wearing i was pulling for that a lot because it was the only option the suede doesn't go with everything i wanted leather sometimes so found these which are absolutely stunning look at the heel and then i like that they have this ruching so again you feel it feels special but it still looks very sleek and simple and kind of like wearable with everything zipper up the back they're stunning. These are from Blue Marine, which I think this is, I have a shirt from Blue Marine. So my second item I've ever purchased from Blue Marine. Um, they're pretty high heel, but they also feel pretty comfortable. So I'm very excited to wear these this winter. I do have two fragrances though. This feels like a lot, but it's over three months. Um, people are always interested in fragrances. I'm not a fragrance connoisseur. But I usually just like ask, you know, if I smell someone or I smell something, I just ask them what that is and I typically buy that. So that's how this worked. <laughs> the Yusufs wear this. Um, when we were in Copenhagen, I was like, what, you smell divine. And then like literally like groups of people would walk past us and stop and be like, well, what are you guys wearing? I'm like, I know it's not my fragrance. It was theirs. This is called Portrait of a Lady by Dominique Ropion. It's amazing. Anytime I wear this, same thing happens people stop me and or just tell me like you smell so good um it's it's potent you don't need a lot but i really i really like this and i feel like i've used this a lot and it's still a lot left like it's a pretty small bottle um and you can get this online i i got it from a department store but i'll link it below and then my newest favorite is this ysl libre this is what it looks like first of all stunning bottle um but this is like pretty but powerful and i like that a lot i've been testing it like the last week or trying it um this was sent to me but a lot of fragrances are sent to me and i'm like oh that's fine or i'll like give them away this i really like again because I, I i really liked something like this that's like strong and the scent like you can smell it but it also feels like it's floral, so I really like it. If you like floral scents, but you like something a little more potent, you'll like this. So that's the fragrances. Clothing pieces, of course I'll be trying them on. And then the jackets, two jackets, two coats. This feels like a lot more than I anticipated. Okay, first up, I'm pretty sure you saw this in the New York Fashion Week vlog, but it is this gorgeous crowded oh, skirt. And it is just, this is my 90s dream. This is the nanny. This is Fran Fine. This is just every 90s little hot girl. This is just, I love it so much. As soon as I saw it, I saw it on a TikTok and I messaged my essay at course. Literally screenshot. Do you have this skirt? <laughs> I need to find this skirt. Like this with turtleneck and those black, these black boots. Um, this runs true to, this is, um, let's see if I get in this. I think a 38. She is very, very pricey, but I just had to show her because this stuff like this is like a forever piece. This is something, right? Like 
I'll pass down to someone's daughter, you know, friend's daughter's cousin's daughter, like someone's daughter. <laughs> that will be like, oh my God, I just got the coolest skirt from Auntie Janae. This is, this is that. Next up, I have three pieces from Urban Revival. These are winter essentials. Let me just start with this because I already shared it. And literally the stuff that I pick, they're so smart at Urban Revival. Like the stuff that I pick, I send it to them before I even start the video. Like they send me a lot of stuff, we talk about this. And I will go through, like I will pick a bunch of things, they'll send me extra things. And then I'll go through and like obviously try everything on and say, okay, here's what I, you know, absolutely love. This is what I'm gonna put in the video. And they will go, they will make sure they order enough but I know some things still sell out, but they like place additional orders for the stuff that I say I'm gonna put in my videos. And this I know has already been selling a lot because I posted a TikTok. As soon as I took it out of the box, I was like, where? Immediately. The button detail, like stop. Um, if you don't wanna wear anything underneath it, you could do like a bralette that would show. I didn't wear anything, but I taped it. This is very heavy, so you have to use a few pieces of tape if you're interested in that. Um, you could also size down. I got a medium or six because usually things I feel like run kind of small. I could have got a four in this, so keep that in mind. Next is another midi skirt. I've become the queen of midi skirts. So this might be, this is a maxi on me, but I think it's supposed to be a midi. Um, in this tan color, I'm trying it on. This is also from Urban Revival. I feel like this is a really nice shade. If you've really been into the, the midi maxi skirts, you probably have like a white and a black. This is a nice, I feel like fall shade. It's kind of like an oatmeal. But again, I try to picture outfits before I buy things. And I feel like when I saw this, I was like, cool. Like V neck little short sleeve turtleneck while it's still like, you know, hot or cold. But then like a chunky sweater with some like combat boots. Super cute, but you can also wear this to the office with like some taller boots tighter turtleneck, a little crop jacket, a blazer. Lots of options for this, so I really am excited. And of course, I cannot get things from Urban Revival and not get a tweed jacket. It has become my favorite thing. If you saw on my Today Show episode, or segment, um, I picked all those products that were up there and I picked the trends that I wanted to talk about. And I literally had to put in an Urban Revival jacket because I was just, I've been so impressed with the quality and what you get for the price point and the detailing. And when I saw this jacket, stop. The black and the white, the piping, the pockets, the, like, hello? Stunning. And it's always the shoulders. It's the perfect amount of structure. It's a tiny little shoulder pad in here, but it's just, I love this boxy silhouette with some leather pants some little ankle boots stop but then like with some wide leg pants but then with some jeans but then with like a little mini skirt Ugh. too cute too cute i again all of this, my urban revival clothing or jackets are always in a us6 or a medium i always recommend you size up just to be safe because you can always get it taken in you can't really stretch it out so now let's get into the coats. The first coat, you just have to look them side by side, but I have them here. The first coat is this stunning uh, oatmeal fringe Western inspired coat. This is from, what is the brand? I haven't worn it yet. What is the brand, but it's from Shop McMullen. I talk about them all the time. They are a black luxury boutique, black owned luxury boutique. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. I absolutely love them, but they have all of the top designers, like if you want to indulge in luxury, check Shop McMullen. Um, oh, this is by um, Mayling, by Mayling Burger. Um, but when I saw it, I just, this is my, this is my go-to kind of style of coat, but with the fringe and the like gold buttons, it's giving military, it's giving Western. And then <laughs> this, I didn't have a gray coat. And what I love is that this is almost like sweatshirt material. It's super lightweight, but still keeps you warm. I traveled in this. Um, I went somewhere kind of cold last week, part of the country that's already very cold. Um, and this was perfect. Um, I was again, very warm, but also it was, it's not heavy. It's lightweight, but still keeps you warm. It's just a double breasted coat, my favorite coat style. Um, but in this like beautiful gray shade. Absolutely love this. I believe I got that on my Teresa. And then two Urban Revival pieces. 
um, this leather blazer, which I could have sworn I had a leather blazer, but I cannot find it. I recently took out all my winter clothes. So I wanted to give this one a try. And this, I feel like they do such a good job of having, again, that shape. I need a shoulder pad. I got weak, slopey shoulders. I need some structure. Um, and this is just enough. Like, it's not too outrageous, but just enough. Um, yeah, and the, like, the faux leather looks so beautiful, so supple. You see me trying it on, but absolutely love that. And lastly, this was a stunner from Urban Revival. Now, do I have a few trench coats? Yes, yes, I do. I don't have one like this. <laughs> this is a trench coat. And it's, 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 I would call it, I would classify it like a creative trench coat. Um, it has these cool, like, designs down the side. But what sold me was this little back emblem. It's so cool. It comes with a belt. It's like an edgy, cool trench coat. So if that's something you're into, you will love this. It has that oversized shape. And I love the shade. It's like the perfect, perfect shade. So, that's everything. That felt like a million bajillion things. It really wasn't that much. It felt like a um, but that's everything. Let me know what was your favorite, what you're interested in. Of course, use my code Janae to get 15% off on Urban Revival. And I think that's everything. Um, we'll have a new episode of, that'll probably be, actually be out before you see this. A new episode of Style Unlocked. We're doing two a month. So the next one will be out next week. And let me know what else you want to see really this fall winter um i have a lot of traveling coming up i don't know do we want to see more vlogs of the travels um let me know let me know thanks for stopping by